hello. So, this now has been testing for quite a bit of time, but I did have a revelation. In the midst of all that, I seem to remember, um, you know, um, on the 80 column tests, I think it was just on the 80 columns, if you were going along, getting towards the end of the line, um, the machine would beep, similar to how it would when the machine would start up. So I thought, hmm, how about that? I could use that. So in the program that I have done here, which is perhaps the start of the program that I'm going to make to sort of test things, I put in a number of lines that every time it does something, that it checks, of course it prints ds string, but it, before that it checks the value of ds. And if ds is not equal to zero, then it goes to a special line which prints the time and it says the error occurred this much time into the, uh, actually I can tell you what it says. Hang on. Let me just do this. It says in line 60, it prints, it clears the screen, and it says the error occurred. I, hang on, I'll read it the way it is. 60, print, quote, the clear screen thing, which is shifted clear home, which shows up like a capital S. Or if you're in the other character set, I think it's a heart. Anyway. 60, print, quote, clear screen, the error occurred, space, quote, semicolon, TI string, semicolon, quote, space, into the testing. So it will tell me exactly when the error occurred. And once it has done that, then it goes to the next line, which is 70, and it prints, well, it clears the screen and moves down with a couple of things so it doesn't scroll off, but it prints character string 7. But if I right now go to 70 in this program, that's what it does. And it'll do that over and over and over and over until I come and say, stop. So I have saved that program. <laughs> because the disk drive is still working, I can save it again, because I think it's up to date, but I'm going to just make sure. So I'm going to type in D save, quote, 4040 test 1 DB, quote, comma, D0. of a program that I lost. So, let me just, at this moment, because I have not run this, I don't think, for a moment, I'm going to print TI string. So, at this moment, see, I, it had been running for maybe 25 minutes when I suddenly had a revelation. I can make it tell me when there's an error. Imagine, we can use these computers to tell us things. Imagine. Anyway, so, um, so probably this now drive, this drive has been testing for somewhat more than half an hour. And because it has been testing for more than half an hour, it is time to turn it off. It is time to open the lid. And it is time for another chip to come out. And just because we're working over here, I'm going to go for this one. Which really, well, you know, these chips have been in here for a very long time, not quite 40 years, almost 40 years, and this one seems to really want to stay.
but we must be patient. So dig down. Here is a smaller screwdriver with a smaller tip. There we go. We are behind. For the bigger wiggler, and I can stick it in and gently push. Look at that, it's like, and what a chip is this? Lucky you should ask. It is C010750. them beside each other in the order that they came out. And now, whew, I'm going to try to get one out of here. And you know what? Oh, there we go. Ever so gently, gently. This one too is being a bit testy. Okay, I think I can go back to this. This is not my favorite screwdriver for this, but it's the one I've been able to find at this moment. We inspect the pins. Made in Hong Kong. So, we've inspected the pins. The witness mark is at the bottom. That is where it should be. We take the chip. Line it up with all the holes. Line it up with all the holes. And push. And then we have a real close look. And it all looks good. So we reapply power. And we close the lid. So it seems to be alright. So we run our program. are happening and we do not hear the error message noise. So, uh, for the moment, we're now into chip number five of ten. And it seems to be quite happy. So, I know that I can now go in the other room and if something happens, the 8296 will tell me. Imagine. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all for now. One by one by one, we're going to keep checking, and hopefully we'll get to the bottom of this. Um, and uh, maybe next time, in the midst of all the switching, Maybe I will get the rat infested 4040 out and we can have a look. Because I could set it up here and tinker. I could. I could, uh, um, well, for a moment. I mean, I could use the IEEE and test it out. Um, I wish I knew where I got it from. Anyway, there doesn't seem to be any evidence of fresh rat infestation or mouse infestation. I suspect it was in somebody's garage. And 
Maybe the doors were left open. Maybe that's... I, I, I don't know how a mouse could get in, but, you know, things happen. So, it is testing. It is happy. I'm feeling much better than I was earlier when I was completely baffled and irked even. Mind you, everything looks better when you're wearing a Dilbert hat. So, stay tuned. The answer, the answer is out there. I just don't know where. I just don't know when I'll find it. But I will keep searching. Thank you for being here. Bye for now.